Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back on GT Sport and we're back with some track guides for the new daily races that are on this week. First of all, we're going to do the Monza No Chicane in the Group 1 um, track guide. I'm going to separate the videos for these because I think it's going to be easier for people to find in the future if we just do them as each individual videos rather than mixing them up because then obviously in the title it's easier for people to search the track and car combination they want so gonna do them as individual videos first up today obviously group one no chicane monza driving the nissan group um c car now this car is very much suited to this track because of its straight line speed its gearing is also i feel like it's a better gearing ratio for this track the 787 should be okay at this track also um it feels like a good good car for this track I'm, i might be tempted to try this um in some daily race C's. however i feel like the nissan probably has a it's just slightly better on potential purely because of the gear ratio for exiting some of the corners so we're going to go through the track guide try and point out the braking points give you some idea of little hints to get a better lap in and then we're going to do the race a in a separate video we already have the daily race b at interlagos on the channel in a separate play in a playlist created for track guys so do check that out on the channel it's in there done already in the Ford GT, I think, for that guide, which is pretty much equal to the time I've done in the Volkswagen. So for this lap, going into turn one, now we don't have the uh, brake for the chicane there because this is a no ch chicane variation. It's flat out all the way through this corner. This is why the hybrids are not very good at this track now because there's no um, regeneration from that first chicane and the top speed is really important. So your first braking point, you can see, already braking well before the 150 board there, quite way short of it. Down through the gears, into second gear for this chicane, and you're going to look to try and cut as much as possible off of these th these two corners without getting a penalty. It is very easy to pick up a penalty, but you're going to see there your right-hand tyre needs to be as close to that white line as possible on the right-hand side. And you're taking a line that you, again, you're going straight over the middle of that orange sausage curb. So you're pretty much straight lining as much as possible and then using as much of the track on the left-hand side as possible. You want to make sure your left-hand tyre doesn't go past that white line. If you get your left-hand tyre onto the gravel, you're going to lose a lot of acceleration as you come out of that corner. Now into the first part of the Lesmo, you're going to go down into second gear pretty much as you go past the 50 board on the left-hand side. You see there the braking's going in, down into second gear, and I like to stay very close to the right-hand side. There. You want to stay and hug that inside as much as possible. Early upshift into third gear and get on the power very early. Just be careful you don't run too far wide. You see that shade of green where it changes. You don't want your left-hand tyre going wide in there or you will lose a lot of time then for the final lesmo you're going to break down just before the 50 board on the left hand side you see saying staying in third gear though that's purely because i like the um the speed that you come out the corner in third gear it suits staying in third gear rather than going down the second you want to try and get that right hand tire also onto that green bit of astro and then be careful you don't run too far wide on the exit you see again that shade of color if you get your left hand tire over that you tend to pick up the gravel and it goes all a bit um it slows you down you lose traction and you don't get the exit speed coming out of the corner now into the next braking zone, you're going to look for the shadow on the floor from the board above your head there. You're going to see it there. Just as you go past the board, you're going to start hit pretty much on the shadow. You're going to start hitting the brakes down into third gear. And you really want to attack these corners again. You see, getting as close to the speed bump as possible on the left-hand side with the left-hand tire. Try not to hit it, though. And then again on the right-hand side, you can get your right-hand tire onto the green part of Astro slightly. Just to give yourself more speed through the corner, you see just not really going over the grass but getting very close to and again cutting a slight bit off the exit of the final part of the chicane you see there just a, a fraction on it and then use maximum revs on the exit working your way now into the final corner now a very tricky corner in these cars again because it's all about hitting that braking point i tend to break just around the 100 board you see the 100 board is my brake reference just slightly past it there hitting the brakes very aggressively now and then trail braking all the way into the corner down into third gear and you really want to take quite a tight line into this corner because if you go too far wide you end up understeering a lot and what you're going to see now is what i do is as i'm getting back on the power i have to play with the throttle a bit and again there just lifting off the throttle and what this does is it transfers the weight it gives a little bit of um it changes the balance puts a bit of weight onto the front so you can then get back on the power helps the car rotate if you just keep your foot flat down I probably would have understood why I'd lost a lot of time and possibly picked up a penalty. And then we go over the line for a 1 minute 20.8, which it was an okay lap. It wasn't amazing. Um, I think I only spent about 30 minutes on, 35 to 30 minutes on each of the 
three different tracks and then obviously we went on in the night and streamed some of the racing um, but you can see from this now we're going to watch it now from the chase camera just to show you how much of the track you really need to use all the track available to get the most time out of this um, combination I think I can probably push this down to maybe a 20.4 to 5 something like that um, it would help if I did have the shifter set up with this car so if you do have a shifter you will be slightly faster you see they're using all the track and again on the exit just look how close it is to that white line inches away and it's so important to us even on the exit into the corner using the full track width to get the angle as much as possible into the corners so important to do and this 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 view really does show you how you have to use all the track available on the exit of the corners on the entry etc it really will help out your lap time but yeah with the shift there you do gain on every um, gear shift if you've got one. I have got one, but I didn't. I don't set the. I very rarely set it up. It wasn't set up for this lap. It probably would gain me a tenth or two over the lap because every shift you do, it just gains you a little bit on acceleration. Um, it's just a pain for myself because I have to move around with pedals, unscrew them, take all the zip ties off, move it over, and then if I want to go and do race B, I'd have to do the exact same thing again. So it's really awkward. Um, maybe one day in the future we'll pick up a different um, sim rig so that the bar's not in the middle and obstructing us slightly. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that track guide. We will be back with the Race A track guide after this video. Um, please check that one out if you're interested also. Um, thanks again for watching these videos. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And let me know in the comment section if it's helped you out, if it's helped improve your lap, if you've picked up anything, etc. I do like reading the comments. And we'll be back with more videos very soon. Thanks again for watching, everyone.